Hi everyone, it's Sal here. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're well. So today we're just going to be having a little chat really. Um, a little chat about my sort of tips and tricks when it comes to applying fragrances. Um, this was actually a wonderful suggestion from one of my beloved subscribers, so thank you very much for making this suggestion. I never would have thought to do this video. All I'm really going to be doing today is um, sharing with you guys my own personal tips and tricks, what I've learned um, over the kind of past year really, um, and what works best for me. Of course you may have your own ways that work for you, you may already know how you um, prefer to apply your fragrance, so if that's the case then share your own tips in the comments below, I'd love to hear them. What I'm also going to be doing actually, I'm going to be um, looking at different types of fragrance, so an eau de toilette kind of concentration, and eau de parfum and like really really strong fragrances and how I apply different strengths of fragrance and also I'm just going to tell you guys basically what I avoid doing when I apply my own fragrances. For the purposes of this video um, I've got my, this was like my empty bottle that I bought from Amazon for the purpose of like the demonstrations which will be happening today um, I have filled this with water so that I can like show you guys all the different ways of spraying. So first of all what I think I'll do is I'll just really quickly say what I avoid um, and that is rubbing your wrists together like this. The issue as far as I'm aware, like I'm not an expert but as far as I'm aware you overheat the molecules and it can actually change the smell and actually um, change how it develops on your skin as well. So I actually have my own little personal story as to how I discovered that I was doing this the wrong way basically. Um, what happened is I had my um, perfume Pure Excess that I bought a few years ago. So I'd bought that perfume and like um, in the shop when I smelt it initially and I, I'd sprayed it on a bit of card I smelt it and I thought that smells amazing like I really really want this fragrance so I bought it and then after having worn it like a few times I kind of thought why does it not smell the same as it did in the shop like why am I not loving it as much as I did in the first place you know and then I found out about you know that thing and that's what I'd been doing all the time with this fragrance so I kind of thought about it and I thought hang on a minute is that why this isn't smelling the way that I remember it smelling in the shop. So I put it to the test and the next time I wore that fragrance what I did instead was I got it and I went one on one wrist like this, leave it to settle, other wrist, waft it around like this, let them settle, let it dry and I really noticed a huge difference you guys in how it smelled and it basically smelled much much nicer, like it actually smelled how I remembered it smelling. I noticed a distinct difference in my own fragrance, you know, when I uh, changed the way that I applied it basically. So that's kind of tip number or anti-tip rather should I probably say. So that's the anti-tip. Well I mean if you do and it works for you then that's fine, but in my experience um, it doesn't work quite as well, um, you don't get the full effect of the fragrance um, if you rub your wrists like that because as I say it kind of it generates too much heat. Okay so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go through a few different fragrances in my collection and I'm just gonna like show with the demonstration bottle I'm gonna show you guys like how I would go about applying them just to give you guys some insight into how I apply my own fragrances. So the first one we're gonna look at today is a really low performance fragrance. Ideally this is if you want to be, if you want to go the extra mile basically, like I don't really do this, but if you want to go the extra mile, what to do is um, actually moisturise your wrists first or wherever you're going to be applying the fragrance. If you put moisturiser first, that will help kind of lock it in even longer. I, again, like I say, I don't really bother with this because I'm kind of lazy, but if you want to do that, that's kind of even better. Um, and if you have the matching like body lotion that also smells like the fragrance, you could like put that on first to maximize the actual scent. The way that I would spray a fragrance like that basically is I go two times on each wrist, so again no rubbing, um, and then what I do is I will spray it like one, two, like at either side of my uh, neck here, sometimes like one on my on the front of my clothes, and then what I do and this is something that I kind of discovered fairly recently, but I do think it's quite an important step actually. And I think that I discovered this 
from one of Jeremy Fragrance's videos. I'm pretty sure it was one of his videos that showed this. And I kind of thought, why have I not been doing this all this time? You know what I mean? And that is actually to spray like the back of your neck. So if you get the fragrance and do two, even three or four sprays at the back of your neck, you could get away with three or four in this case because this fragrance is like not a very strong one. So in each spot, you know, with a fragrance like this, you could go twice or even thrice like in each area. This is amazing by the way, like I really don't understand why I didn't think of this before. But if you spray the back of your yourself, then there's a higher chance of like, you know, when you're walking by somebody, they're gonna like smell your scent trail. So that's something that I always always do now you guys, like I literally always do that because it just creates like a 360 degree like scent bubble around you. So that is typically how I would spray a fragrance like this especially if I was actually going to go out somewhere. So this is assuming I'm going out somewhere and I want the fragrance to last more or less, like as long as I can get it to last basically, but preferably all day. Ooh, I'm just going to fix my, my hair. What do you guys think, by the way? I bought this new, like, not a crimper, but like a, a waver basically, because my curlers take ages to use. Like the one where you wrap the hair around, that took ages to use and like, I'm really low maintenance in general, like I just can't be bothered with that to be honest. So I got this new Tony and Guy like deep barrel waver to use today. Um, still took some time but it was easier to use than my curlers. So yeah, basically this is a lotion that came in like a gift set with one of my Narciso fragrances. So you could buy um, a gift set with like a matching lotion and then you could actually put your lotion on and then spray your fragrance over top. Particularly if you know that it's not a very good like performing fragrance, you could do that and it would definitely help with the performance. Or if you had like, I don't know, an event or if you were going out all day and you wanted your fragrance to really last as long as it physically could, um, this would be a great option as well. You could like put your lotion on and then like spray your fragrance over top and that would definitely help with the performance. Spraying your clothes as well, that's quite a good way to like get your scent to last longer. So you could spray maybe just one at the front of your t-shirt or your jumper or whatever and then again one like just behind you or something like that. Another option as well I guess is like if you have the matching Eau de Toilette and Eau de Parfum. Parfum. If you have like the Eau de Toilette and the Eau de Parfum you can kind of like layer them I suppose. You could wear your Eau de Parfum not that you really need to work much with Alien because it's strong enough on its own, but if you had an Eau de Parfum that wasn't necessarily that strong, you could wear that and then spray the Eau de Toilette version over top. Or you can use like lotion with Eau de Toilette or lotion with Eau de Parfum. You can basically just kind of experiment really and see kind of what works for you. Mm, my clips are falling out. I'm just gonna take them out now, I think. They're kind of falling out and it's getting a little bit weird. So next up, just to show you how I apply a regular fragrance on a daily basis. So this would probably be an Eau de Parfum that performs okay. So this is how I would apply a regular performing Eau de Parfum. So basically all I really do is I just do, I typically do two sprays on each like area. So I'll go one, two, not too close either. So you don't want it. I'll show you what you don't want to do really. So if you do it too close, See how it's gone in a big pool like that? You don't really want that. You want it to be far enough away like that. Well, I'll dry off my wrist first, shall I? Um, you kind of want it to be, right. So you want it to be far enough away actually that when you spray it, see how you can't really see the pool of water. That's what you want. So not too close actually. So a little bit far away. Um, one to shake it through. Oh my goodness. And then again, the same again. And then here, here, and then a couple like on the back of your neck as well. That's basically how I apply the majority of my fragrances. What I just want to show you really quickly, just to end the video I suppose, is just um, what I would do if I had a really, really strong fragrance like um, this one here. So this is the La Via Belle Lo de Parfum Intense. So I'll show you just really quickly how I would apply a fragrance like this. If it's a really strong fragrance like that, I only really spray my wrist and then I just gently dab it like that. Again, I wouldn't rub. So you've only used like two sprays, but you've dabbed it, you know, in here as well. So you have the smell kind of here. And then I would do one spray 
at the back of my neck again just to create that nice um, scent trail. So yeah in total for a fragrance that's like the strongest um, I would probably be inclined to use like three sprays in total um, which isn't you know an awful lot but actually for fragrances like that you don't necessarily need that many sprays. Um, so yeah in that situation one spray on each wrist gently dab once like that kind of underneath your ear there and then dab again and then like one spray at the back of my neck um, and that's me good to go and yeah those are my tips you guys i really hope this has been like helpful if you have your own way that works for you then um oh i hope i don't have a coffee mark on my face from drinking coffee i think i'm good but yeah, like if you have your own way that you apply your fragrance and it works for you, then just do that. You know what I mean? This is literally just me giving my own, literally just the way that I do it. You know what I mean? This is not like the right way. Um, there's no right or wrong way, but it's just I'm sharing my own experience. And in my experience, you know, if you are if you are causing friction like this when you've applied it, that kind of hinders the performance a little bit and changes the smell. And I found that... Um, all the other ways that I've explained to you, I found that they work really, really well. So you might want to try some of them. But like I say, um, leave in the comments below what you like to do. Leave any additional like kind of hints and tips that people might not have heard of. Um, I'd really love to hear that as well, actually. And again, like I say, this was a fabulous suggestion, I think. This is a really interesting video for me to do, actually. It's kind of a little bit different to what I would normally be like talking about. So I really... Um, appreciate this suggestion from the wonderful subscriber and you guys know the drill just leave any suggestions down below and um, I will most likely do the video because I love doing suggestions take care guys bye